my name is John Taylor Arndt and what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this 1999 TC 2000 Bluebird into my home so I can travel as much as I want and right here is Ranger my travel companion and he's just inspecting the new home the possibility <laughs> this is what it looks like on the inside <laughs> my dog's too big to turn around so move go this is what it looks like in the inside the TC 2000 some duct tape I put there And I'm about to take out these seats with this Amazon basic toolkit that I just ordered. <laughs> so this bus, uh, for some reason, the bottom screws are kind of a bit rusted and uh, a little bit harder to get at. So what I'm doing is I'm just <laughs> ripping up the seat part of it and not the back yet. So that way, I've heard it's a little bit easier and not as cumbersome. So we'll see what happens. This is a little bit harder than it may look like, guys. But I'm just ripping it up. This is all I'm doing. I just grab it, and I rip it up. And I just throw them out so it's not as cumbersome in here. Really wish I had someone to help me. <laughs> but, you know what? I'm making my home. That's all it is. I'm building my home. So I have all the determination that there needs to be. And I will get it done. I'm done with this even if I don't get all the uh, actual uh, metal part of the chair up I'm gonna put all the spare the seats in the back so there's no litter on the ground because I hate people who litter so yeah never litter guys never litter and I'm doing all this without too much knowledge. I'm playing it by ear, and that's what I've done my whole life. And it's worked out pretty well so far. So we'll keep doing it. Well, I'll keep doing it. <laughs> done. There's three more. Yep. Three more of these bus actual seats and not the back end of them. Of them. <laughs> this one's being an issue.
sometimes the bottom of the chair it breaks so I can't get it out too easy but if you really want to you can keep trying and that's what I'm doing The ones in the back are getting a little bit harder to grab and get out without breaking them. But it's not like I'm going to use them, so it's whatever. me bolt them off of the wall because I've heard that's an issue too here's what it looks like now that I've got all the ch chairs well the seats out and I'm gonna keep going at the back ends now It looks a lot less clustered and I like it. So I am been working on, I've been working on this. I've been working on this for four hours now and there is no way for me to unscrew the bolt at the top and hold the nut at the bottom. So what I am doing is just to take, uh, I took the luggage racks off on each side and uh, now I am going to start try again to uh, undo the bolt on the uh, frames of the chairs and see if I can figure out some way to do it without getting a grinder because I'm only doing this by myself. So this is what it looks like right now. I took the luggage racks off like I said, but I just can't get the bolts on the bottom off yet. But I've been doing a little work. At first I took the, um, the cushion on the side of this one off, unlike this one. And I broke it and folded it right here. But what I just decided to do on the right side is just take the whole thing off and not worry about it because I'll get rid of them somehow. But I am going to try and do the chairs today. It's only been four hours. So what I've done so far, I tried the bolts right here again and they would not come up. So what I did, so far as I put all the bottom of the chairs to the back so there's no chairs outside on the lawn because yeah I don't have anywhere to dump them right now so I'm just keeping everything inside until it's all done and also last week a tree branch fell and went through the emergency exit so I put a trash bag over it to make sure there's no water coming in even though I'm ripping up the whole inside. But the emergency exit got ruined, but I'm gonna replace those anyway, so it's not big of a deal at all. So it's dark outside, as you guys can see. So what I kept trying to do was get the chairs removed, but I could never get the bolts to undo as I couldn't hold the nuts underneath uh, steady. And I only have one vice grip, as I've been told. And what I did is I bought an angle grinder, and it should be here in two days, and as soon as that gets here, I am going to remove the uh, seats and then I will continue on the conversion. And by the end of this year, I should have a schoolie. If anyone has any tips or information, please let me know. I will be very grateful to know if I'm doing anything wrong. I really want this conversion to be done by the end of this year and I think I can make that happen. Day two should be coming shortly. As soon as I get that angle grinder, I'm gonna get the seats out of the bus and I will be able to continue on the conversion. So we'll see what happens. And thank you guys.